Doug, I haven't seen you since the campaign. Yeah, how'd that go? Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 mine went okay. <laughs> hey, nobody knows, but I'm here today to formally announce Jamie Cooper's running for mayor of Athens. That's uh, too late. Know, we're going to run his, oh, is it? It's too late. Yeah. The deadline was Tuesday, man. Well, I guess Ronnie Marks. That'll be four more years. So Ronnie surprised. was looking forward to being on the show every day. Yeah, Douglas Patterson <laughs> up here, Doug, the attorney here in town, does divorce, criminal, stuff like that. But you up here today to talk about one of your passions. Yes, we, uh, CASA of Limestone County, which CASA, we, it's a nonprofit. Uh, we do work for the homebound, the elderly. Uh, the biggest service is providing wheelchair ramps for those who cannot afford to build one because right. they're pretty expensive to build. Uh, other things, we provide fans for those who, who can't afford air conditioning, those sorts of things in, the, in July, June and July, especially the last June and July right. has really been important. Been rough. But our, our big fundraiser every year is the Mud Volleyball Tournament. Which has been going on for how long? Uh -huh. Well, this is the 25th, I believe. Uh, it says 24th. it was 24th. 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 Well, I covered that, so I must cover it the first year they had it there. So, yeah. um, but we, and, yeah. and this t-shirt, we, we put out a, really a contest with the uh, high schools here locally to design the t-shirt. My little girl from Ardmore won the contest and she designed the t-shirt. She won a uh, $100 Good prize ride. on it. Well, Did a great job. Now, so. how many teams are in it this year? We have uh, 90 teams this year. 90? Over 700 participants. Uh, we have one team that has flown in from Washington State to Get be a part of this. Yes. So it's, it's a big deal. We're, we go pool play at 9 a.m. Saturday. Uh, we, we expect that to take a little over three hours, probably sometime after lunch we'll go into the, uh, the brackets at that point. So if you get out of your pool, you win the pool, then you go to playoffs. So when, does, when, do, when is the first volley served in the mud? It'll be at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Right Saturday. there at the high school? Right there at the high school, yeah. And there's, there's no admission fee. No admission fee. Admission fee. City uh, firefighters will be there selling ha hamburgers, hot dogs, and, and drinks, refreshments. They, uh, they use that as a fundraiser for them as well. And uh, they're the only vendors there, so you know they get a great benefit out of that right. as well. It's really funny to watch too, because I mean everybody gets so filthy. Oh and yeah, yeah. We'll come by there tomorrow and probably get a little video and, of that. But yeah. it's right there, Tosh. It's free. It's free. You don't yeah. have to get muddy to attend. No, and it, and you know there's going to be all the teams will set up their own little uh, like those tents. I, I don't know what they're right. called, but but you kinda know what like I'm saying. Kind of like tailgating. Right. Party. It is. It's kind of like a traveling gypsy yeah. band that has moved <laughs> in at the high school. Any corn holding going on? No. Uh, sometimes there's some you know off off tournament stuff, but most of the time the teams, by the time they get to that first game or two, they're, they're they just want to sit down <laughs> when they're not playing. You know, it's funny, I, I say that when I, 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 growing up in New Hope and like over at Lexington and people like that, back in Arab, here we go. When you say the term cornhole, it, you know, now it's a big popular thing, especially at Penn State. Uh, Jamie, that was bad. The reason he says that is because they call, a friend called us yesterday, and there is a new picture that's going to be circulating on the Internet of a tournament taking place. At Penn State, <laughs> Penn State so but uh, you, saw so the, you saw the new LSU shirt, didn't you? No. That's bad, I'd too. rather take a shower at Penn State than support Alabama football. That's terrible. Well, there it is. We got it right here. I'm fixing to order me one. No, uh, you're not. I'd rather take a shower. That's why I got purple on day because LSU is predicted to be number one again. So, uh, mm -hmm. ah, everything starts at nine tomorrow. Big fun. Yeah. You say ninety teams? There's over, there's ninety teams involved. We've got ten courts uh, for pool. Who play. judges this? Well, what it is is we have we have volunteer officials who are trained on the rules, and basically you you're in a pool. Uh, now there'll be ten teams to a pool. Well, eight mm -hmm. teams normally, but we, we're gonna have to adjust that a little mm -hmm. bit. Probably nine teams. You play through your pool. Every team plays each other. The team with the best record out of the pool goes to the playoff. Then when you get to the playoffs, it's best two out of three games per round, and you just keep going. It's a single elimination tournament. Is this rain or shine? It is. Unless there's lightning, we will be playing. <laughs> <laughs> now, if there's lightning, we have a we have a rain date for the next Saturday or uh, Sunday. You know, we may play some. Let me check in with our staff meteorologist. I'm it's only a small chance we'll of rain okay. tomorrow, isn't it? I'm predicting we'll be okay. Yeah. And if chance. it does sprinkle on them, they'll probably enjoy the mud being washed off. That's the thing. I mean, you know, rain only helps the mud ball. Oh, yeah, right. I know. <laughs> Maybe on the way? Yeah, Almost we're expecting we're sitting, sitting on go, so well, we should be in good shape. All right, well, you know, this weekend, not only they got that going on, but tonight over in Florence, and the show's here all over there, is the annual Handy WC Handy Festival starts. We were over there earlier this week, interviewed uh, Dennis Holman. Benny Carl is still alive, 87 years old, grew up watching him on TV. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to some video now. Nancy Gaunt, she's the head chairperson of the Handy Festival, tell us all about it. Again, Doug, thanks for coming up. Good to see you we again on Freely like Terms. Stuff. Yes, it's always, always been. <laughs> if you're looking to get divorced or in jail, give them a call. Oh boy. Not looking to get in jail, looking to get out of jail. Out of, get out of jail. <laughs> Let's go to some of that video. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on.